What's up guys, it's Ekakoon back with another video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at is 128 gigabytes of storage enough in 2019? Now what most people would be thinking, the answer is no, but that may actually be wrong. I personally have been using 128 gigabytes of SSD storage in my school laptop and it has lasted me plenty. I still have quite a lot of gigabytes left and um, I've never had to delete any random files and for a lot of people this is the same use cases that I'm doing such as like using Google Docs using basically everything on Google just storing a few random files that's what a lot of people use their laptops and computers for but I would definitely not recommend 128 gigabyte hard drive because they are way too slow also they're pretty hard to find now because people just don't sell 128 gig hard drives that said, there are still quite a lot of people who do need a lot more storage. Like gamers, they definitely need a whole bunch more than 128 gigabytes because most games are 50 to 100 gigabytes, or well, it depends what the game is, but games are large. The same thing goes for people who edit videos and edit photos and store photos on, on their computer. Then in that use case, it'll be best to have a setup like I do, have an SSD and a hard drive. And for me, I only have a 64 gig SSD, which is quite small for most, but all I have on there is Adobe Premiere, um, Adobe Photoshop, and then Windows 10. So those applications will open up very quickly and that Windows 10 will boot up quickly as well. So in conclusion, I think 128 gigabytes is enough for most people, but if you're a gamer, video editor, photo, editor or storing a lot of things on your computer then I'd recommend a setup like I do a 64 gig SSD or how many how many gigabytes of SSD storage you want because they're quite cheap now and then a hard drive or as many hard drives as you want for me I've only got two they're one terabyte hard drives but I do have plenty more hard drives I could throw in when I run out of storage and that's a good thing about a PC but on a laptop you'll probably just have to go with a M.2 drive which is what most laptops come with today and if it's 256 gig one that should do but if not then there should be options to expand that on the website where you're buying it from and it, it depends on your UK case really so that's all from me guys hope you did enjoy the video if you did smash the like button if you didn't smash the dislike button remember to subscribe with this type of content every week on sunday and i'll see you guys next time